Hello, welcome to Optics Trade's YouTube channel. This is another episode of Optics Trade in the field. Um, we've gone about five, six kilometers from our headquarters to this meadow surrounded by uh, a forest. And we're here to test several thermal devices. So we have chosen this location because we always do videos with thermal devices on the same place so that you're able to see the exact uh, or at least similar uh, setup and conditions. We also chosen the day where there is really not a lot of moisture in the air, there is no fog and as you can see all the surroundings everything is dry because you know that thermal devices they always work, they always work well but uh, when there is a lot of fog and after the rain when everything is uh, in the same temperature because it's wet you will have problems seeing all the details. So we have chosen a sunny day where all the trees and everything is really dry so that you're able to distinct different details from different devices. We've only chosen the devices that can record videos by themselves. We haven't got any device here that would need an external video recorder. So only devices that can capture the videos by themselves. I just want to point out that image quality of a thermal camera is not the only important factor. There are other important factors such as build quality of the device and some additional features. And uh, if you would like to know more, if you would like to find out more information about a particular device, please check our YouTube channel and uh, search for an individual review of the device there. We have quite a few Limke handheld thermal monoculars here today, I think four. Yeah. Could you helpful. tell us which ones? So we have the small Challenger 15, their most affordable device and really small, compact. Then we have uh, Kyler 35 Pro and we have two of them. So the Kyler 35 Pro and Kyler 35 Pro Edition 2019. And then we have uh, Kyler 25 uh, LRF, so the laser range finding model. Those are. So that would be best. four handheld monoculars. We also have one thermal attachment. Yeah, we have the Merlin 35, exactly. their mid-range thermal attachment, which is able to record video. Okay, so Masha, let's explain our viewers regarding the settings of the devices. So if I start with how did we set all the devices that we have here uh, in terms of brightness and contrast? Uh, so we have all the devices set at mid uh, setting in mm -hmm. terms of brightness and contrast. So basically, taken out of the box yes, yeah. and we let them on the same setting as yes. they were uh, set in the From factory. The factory yeah. What about the color palette? We have all the devices set at white hot mm -hmm. uh, mode. Yeah, because in the previous video of this type, uh, in the field with poser devices, I yeah, think, yeah. Uh, everybody was sending us emails that uh, we should do white hot yes. because it's the most popular one. What about magnification? Uh, we have uh, all them set at um, basic mag magnification. So yeah, so the optical yes. magnification they come uh, because they all can different, right? Yeah, magnifications. Every device has a different magnification, optical magnification, because all of their zooms are basically a digital zoom. Yeah. So it's better just to take the image yes. from the lowest uh, magnification, which gives you the optical magnification, and that's it. Okay. So why are devices not set at the same magnification? This is a question which we received in the past already. Uh, the problem is that when you have a device with a smaller lens, which has a lower magnification at the start, and you digitally raise the magnification on the same level like with the, a with the device with a bigger lens, you automatically get a lower quality of the image. Yeah. So this is the reason why we set all the devices on their base magnification, because this is the magnification where each device gives the best image quality. And this is the reason why they are not on the same magnification, because those which have a lower base magnification lose image quality yeah. when you are raising the magnification. Okay. Uh, so what is the setup here? Okay, so we have put all the devices on, on tripods mm -hmm. and we pointed them in the, the same direction, in the central point there at the, at the, at the forest. And then we decided that uh, we are going to walk on uh, different distances, on 50 okay. meters, 75 meters and 100 meters and we decided that ourselves optics ray team that always two members of our team will walk left and right okay. on each of these distances okay uh, so we have people here walking yeah uh, why is that 
we try to do these videos with animals, mm -hmm. but it's really hard to say, dear, please go five meters <laughs> yeah. left or go 10 meters right. Yeah. So the whole point of these videos is that we are able to achieve completely the same uh, circumstances yeah. and conditions for yeah. all of the devices. And we thought, okay, people, well, with animals is bet that better, but still we are good enough. We are able to yeah. see with a the thermal device if we are hot. Yeah. And we are also able to stand exactly at 50 meters, exactly at 75 meters and exactly at 100 meters and do what we think is right for the image. This yeah. is something that is really hard to achieve with the animals. So we do have a lot of videos with the animals in our, in our YouTube channel, but those are individual for each device, a different video. We just want to add a short comment about what to look for in this video when you're comparing one device to another. So the whole point of the video is that you're able to compare different devices based on their image quality. Even though, as we already commented, it's really important to look at the whole package. How it's built, if it has uh, exchangeable batteries, how the interface is made and so on. But when you're looking at these images, what is really different between the devices is the field of view. This is something that you're able to see quite quickly. The devices which have a really wide field of view and those which are really narrow. The amount of details you're able to see, this is the second thing, and normally the magnification. Because with magnification you're able to see if, the, if one device is better for spotting of foxes on really long distance, or it's better to uh, look at the wild boars at 35 meters. So, three main differences. Field of view, details, magnification. 